So the Xiaomi 12 Pro, the best that Xiaomi has to offer currently when it comes to their flagships. However, what if I told you that there is one that you should really consider? It's the Xiaomi 12X. This is the smaller brother, but don't think it comes with too many compromises, because it really doesn't. Now this is not a full review, this is more about why I am excited about it and I'm curious to see how it holds up at the end. But let me explain why there are so much to like about it. Now to begin with, I think this phone comes with the best CPU that you can currently have. Not about speed, but efficiency and just general speed itself. It's the Snapdragon 870. The Snapdragon 870 is basically a Snapdragon 865 Plus of the Plus Edition, if that makes sense. So it's a Plus Plus. Anyway, a Snapdragon 870 inside. A really efficient chip and it doesn't have those problems that you can get with, of course, a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And you're probably going to get with the other versions afterwards. Again, that's one of the main things why I'm very curious about the Xiaomi 12X. Not to mention that this is a price tag of 699 euros. You get the 67 watt charger included, of course. You get the base memory of 128 gigabyte. And of course, just a more compact form as well. I know David, you're in there. Those who don't know David, he's a bit like me and stubborn, but he also wants a really small phone. Either way, I know it's not a 5.5 inch that you would really love, but compared to some modern phones, this is compact. It's much smaller than, for instance, the Xiaomi 12 Pro, as you can see. And if you do want a more compact phone, then yeah, definitely the Xiaomi 12X seems like a solid offering. Now, there are some compromises as stated. For instance, it doesn't have micro SD support and it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Two things I really care about and things that are like, oh, if this phone had it, this would be probably an ideal phone for me. Now, of course, one of the things that I also truly care about is the camera setup. So you get that 50 megapixel main sensor, you get a 30 megapixel ultra wide, and a not so amazing 5 megapixel telephoto, which is also a macro at the same time. Honestly, the camera setup seems fine. I'm going to test it out when the weather is better because two weeks ago we had really nice weather, then it got into snow, and now it's just constantly raining outside. It's welcome to the Netherlands, basically. Either way, the Xiaomi 12X seems like a really solid contender. So stay tuned for my full review of it, of course. And of course, you know, Xiaomi 12X as well. And if you haven't seen my comparison between the Xiaomi 12X and of course the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra when it comes to the camera, well, be sure to check it out. In low light, this one is a champion. Really, this one is really good at low light. I'm gonna make a video about that as well. Either way, this was my quick take on the Xiaomi 12X and why am I excited about it as well. Hope you enjoyed this short video and of course let me know what you think about the Xiaomi 12X because I'm curious what your opinion about it is because I'm also curious to see what people think about smaller phones just in general at the moment. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video and of course if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe, hit like and do all that stuff and of course talk to you guys in the next.